No need to hide now, Olaf. Gorm is dead. Gorm? Dead? By your hand? He paid a bloody price for broken honor. I will not say more. Return to your sister. Oh, I will. Yet I would first join the villagers at their fire. They tell stories and I like to listen. Though I do not hear. Story time. Telling sagas of their own? Yes, yes! They tell stories! Yes, come, listen! Zokki, Rarondu de Wasagorori, Neyotzi Zizu, Waharu, Hau, Toyedene, Zinue Rodiskaragete, Junkquiro Taguani, Dehni Zaruki, Totni Dagwe, Yatehni Ganare, Ziosumaya, Danu Aquegu, Gasuma Hunzi, Yotzi Zizu, Yagoda Denequa, the Wagu, Danu Rarondu de. Yesutne irade. Zokki o sumagu ya untke doda ahyarek dogatka negre. Tunda ya wasi, rarondo de ya sagorege. O sumagu ya ea da ne ne yotzi zizu. Zi wa agoya da haje wa ea na hadu zi na hoda wa ekweni. Nia de ga derege ya ehoe zi ya ea da ne zi de jutsu wagardas. Gods, Rahnaraga, Dagwagara Duhas. I do not understand. Ah, you want me to tell a story? All right, let me think. story of betrayal, of selfish malice, and of gods who act as spoiled children. Of all our many gods, it is Odin who is the most revered. He is the All-Father, the High One, the Wise King. But for all his glories, he can also be the most elusive of his kind. Selfish, solitary, stubborn, even cruel. In days long gone, it came to pass that Odin's son, Balda, died suddenly, felled by his only weakness, Mistletoe. Believing his son's death an accident, Odin sent a message to the Jotun Hel, asking her to return his beautiful boy to life. Hel agreed, but on one condition. Only if every living creature in the Nine Worlds shed a loving tear for Baldur. At once, Odin sent word to every corner of the world, asking all to weep for his beloved boy. And all did. But one. A Jotun named Thok refused to cry for Baldur. Let Hel keep what she has received, Thok said, with malice. And that was that. Baldur was gone forever, sent on a funeral ship across the sea, buried in Midgard, amid trees and rocks. What Odin did not know is that Thok was none other than the trickster Loki in disguise, a god he knew as a friend. Worse still, it was Loki who led Baldur to his death by a sprig of mistletoe. All these tricks and feints Loki had conceived. Some say it was in Loki's nature to be so cruel. Others argue it was revenge for deeds done by Odin to Loki and his children. 
There is a third view. That all these acts, kind and cruel, were sown long ago in the pattern of their lives. That we are not the authors of our own destiny, but only its readers. And that we... Oh. <laughs> uh, that we should fight against this view. For it is deeply unwelcome. Angua gara duha se ne at nowara raugara. Nene o niot ti wata det nowiake. Gorum brought this stone across the whale road for a strange purpose. I do not know why, but it seems to belong to this land. Yos, gods. Gwa, ras no sage, wat neat da herde. Dagwa weird it, gong? Take it and guard it. It may be that one day you will know its purpose. Thank you. Each of you. For all you have done. Aya, Watski. Yeti sot hogungaha. Ayeza ha herda, da, ratner daga. Rav Jordvik, you shirked your work for quite some time. Yora is no more. My name is Eivor, a dringer of the Raven Clan, and my purpose is fulfilled. Purpose? <laughs> what purpose? Gorm is dead! The troll is dead! Olaf! Sister, let us celebrate. Gorm Kötvason is no more. Slain by Eivor Ravenfriend. Eivor Forest Rider. Eivor Olaversever. What is this? I had a long standing blood feud with Gorm and his clan. It is now laid to rest. Oh, the skulls will sing of this day. How Eivor traveled far and wide, hunting Gorm along the world's rim. Songs are not. Gorm is dead. Now I suggest you leave this place. There's no purpose for us here. I... I do not disagree. Gordon was a madman and a troll indeed. But he paid us in silver and that was enough. Brother, are you well? I feared the worst for you. I am well, yes. Oh, so well. And I may stay to linger one season or two with the friends I have made. As you wish, brother. And you, Eivor... Where will you go? Across the sea with us, or back into the woods? I will sail with you. Let's go. Take care of yourself, Olaf. In this life, and the next. Goodbye. Goodbye. Far whence the whale road before me. Dark are the deeds that brought me here. Fate may bind my bones to this land, but for now I walk the sea.
Now it seems the wind calls me back to Ranvi. Let's tell her the good news. I should speak with Hytham. Eivor! I am sorry for what happened with Dag. It could not have been easy. May he rest in peace. Gorham is dead, nameless and alone across the open sea. A master of the order hewn from the trunk of their dying tree. You are getting closer to the roots. Here. This marks fewer members of the order. One more gone. The world is brighter for it. As a token of my deep gratitude. I want you to have this. There are more medallions to collect. I have to go. Then go in peace. You really think flighting can compare to sagas, to true poetry? What is happening here? Holger wishes to prove that flighting is a lesser art. I am correcting him. It is unrefined, unpalatable, unpleasant. I could beat you without a lick of practice. That is not so, you thick-headed... <laughs> Eivor, care to judge a flighting? I would happily judge, brothers. Show me what you have. I will begin. <clears throat> There's a skin-deep resemblance twixt Holger and me. For inside, he's just hot air and bad poetry. Well, in all but our talent, we're certainly twins. It should be no surprise to see which of us wins. Not bad. Now hear this. <clears throat> you see, flighting is simple. So hearken to me. Look, anyone can do it. It's so easy. But the true challenge in life is to do something more. Like writing sagas, painting pictures, and... Uh, and, um... Lore. Yes, lore. There. What do you think, Eivor? Alvis is the clear winner, Holger. I should have expected no less from you, Eivor. You have no ear for these things. A pity. Thank you, Eivor, for acknowledging the natural order. Eivor. You've been away for so long. Were you worried? Of course I was. Such a long voyage. Did you do what had to be done? I did. And I'm eager to focus on problems closer to home. Good. It is done. Gorham is dead. The Kjotvesen clan is wiped from this world. Good. I would like to hear everything about your journey to Vinland when you have time. One day. Stretch your wings, Sunan.
Show me.